always just like, you know, we got some enthusiasm. Team, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At least all of you spoke that time. Team, are you ready? Yes. Okay. And uh, your eight minutes will begin right now. Sebastian D. Francis Monroe, the third, has been found on the Galapagos Islands. His cruise ship crashed in 2014. He was marooned and is still there. Now in 2016, he has been saved after living off of fish and coconuts for two years. Now we're here with fun facts with Miss Tuborn. The hydrothermal vents located off the Galapagos Islands can reach up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. The vents are 8,000 feet deep. That's over a mile. There is an abundant life in the freezing pitch black waters of this part of the ocean. The vents occur where there is volcanic activity. The surface hot water dissolves, uh, dissolves metals and salts as it travels through rocks, eventually rising and gushing out of the vents. I need you to build me something confidential. Depends on what it is. I need you to build me a submarine that can stand a lot of heat. I need it in three weeks, and I'm paying a million dollars. You better get it done in two weeks. Great, but make sure it's big enough to live in. Get started. Our extreme gear, the SS Neptune, has over 2,000 horsepower and does not use gas. It is fueled by vegetable oil and sucks in water, then shoots it back out at a higher velocity to move it forward. The hydraulic and mechanical structure engineering designs that allows the SS Neptune to be safer for surviving the, in, near the hydrothermal vent. boat is on the way, and I just need someone who's willing to go down there. Oh. Ring, 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 ring. Hello? I have a job for you. How would you like to explore an unknown part of the ocean? Sure, but what's in it for me? You'll be known all over the world. Besides, you're paying a million bucks. Yeah, I'm in. When do we start? Meet me at my residence in a week. I'll fill you in on the details then. Great. Our titanium suit has the ability to let the owner move outside the SS Neptune without dying. It has a harpoon made out of titanium in one of the gloves, which is perfect for him. The air tank in the back of the suit can supply the owner with three hours of movement. Sir, your butt is ready. Great. Do you have a prototype? Yes. You want me to go get it? Yes, yes I would. I'm ready to hear the details. Let's get to the point. I found some hydrothermal vents. Hydro what? Hydrothermal vents. I looked up these pictures of past discoveries and they're basically identical. Where are they? All over, but I found some off the coast of the Galapagos Islands. Okay, I get the idea and the details of where it is. What am I going to use to get down there? What? Sorry, I took so long. I misplaced the prototype. This is what you'll be taking. Great, let's get started. The hydrothermal vents produce steady chemical steam, but it's needed for animals to supply, providing them with the energy and supply. Among the chemicals pouring out of the vents, the hydrogen sulfide is a poisonous gas which is toxic to most land based life. But the creatures living around the vents, hydrogen sulfide is the source of life. Some bacteria never seen before the discovery of the vents use the gas for an energy source. These bacteria are the base of the food chain. Crabs, plants, and tubers, and all other vent creatures depend on the microbes for life. Okay, I'm at the dock. I see a bunch of boats, but which one is it? The silver speedboat. Okay, I see it. I'm going down. Okay, I'm in. 
Here we go. It's getting dark. You're almost there. Keep going. Okay. Here, let me flip on the lights. Wow. They look like little volcanoes. Keep going. Tell me everything you see. Okay. I'm getting out my titanium suit. So many things. Some giant octopus, some giant crabs, some worm things, some weird looking fish. <laughs> okay, I got it all on video. I have to come home to analyze it. Sebastian de Francis Monroe III, when he was stranded on the Galapagos Islands, found a field of underwater hydrothermal vents. When he got back, he hired Bob Neptune to explore the vents. We got on video cameras the very first time. Maybe scientists will go down there too, but that's for a different year and a different time. time. <laughs>